Hi, I'm Chris Converse, and thank you for joining me today. So I'm really excited today to show you the new Acrobat DC interface. So that is now available today. Um, while I'm demonstrating this, I won't be able to see the questions or comments in the chat pods, but there are some folks from Adobe who are standing by. So um, feel free to join in the conversation and ask your questions. Um, so let's stop stalling and let's take a look at the new interface. So I'm just gonna slide this over here. So this is the desktop version of Acrobat. We have this new unified interface that goes across the desktop over to Document Cloud and over to our mobile devices. So we're gonna see this uh, workflow uh, become much more consistent. In addition, we have this new sharing and review capability built right into Acrobat, both on mobile and the desktop that are synchronized and managed through Document Cloud. So gathering comments in one PDF file from multiple people is so much easier now. Um, so here we have the um, Acrobat DC main home screen. At the top, we have home and tools. So this is consistent from the previous version. But on the home screen, we now have our recents, which shows up first by default. Next is our scans. Any scans we take through Adobe Scan on our mobile devices or scans we've saved into Document Cloud will be accessible through this particular panel. Next are all of the places where we can get and gather our files. So there's the My Computer tab, which will show me all of the recent destinations on my local machine for where I'm looking at files. If I'm on a mobile device, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, we can see PDFs on that device. We have, of course, our Document Cloud. Any files that we have saved to Document Cloud will show up in this particular tab. You can also hook in services like Dropbox. You can see I have Dropbox hooked into here. And then if we come down to add an account, you can sign in and authorize multiple types of accounts that can be um, accessed and managed through Document Cloud and your devices and your desktop application. So again, there's no reason you can't get to any PDF file you have on any uh, particular service that you're using. Uh, next on the left-hand sidebar, we have a whole group of shared items. We have items that we have sent out simply for people to be able to view, but not comment or edit. There is a tab for items we have sent out for a review and items we have sent out for signature. So people can uh, get signatures, either send and sign or uh, Adobe sign. Any of the different signing um, requests that you've made from PDF files will all be synchronized uh, through this particular panel as well. And anytime there is another app or another destination that needs to be accessed to track all of that, you'll have links directly inside of the application that will take you to the appropriate spot. So let's take a quick look at what this looks like on a mobile device as well. So I'll just bring up my phone here. And so on my phone, I'm looking at the home screen so we can see the recents list showing up here. And on the desktop, I'm gonna bring up the recents list here too, because there's something that's really cool about uh, this new sort of interface. And that is, if you look, you can see underneath the file name, a little indication here on not only the file type, but what we've done with that PDF file. So the first four here are just simple, plain old PDF files on my machine. But down here, I have the, um, the booklet spreads that I've sent out, and I can see that I've shared this. So I haven't asked for commenting, but I've asked to have other people be able to look at this particular document. Under there, under um, the next PDF file, uh, you can see that I have actually sent this out for a review. So the difference here is I have shared one just for viewing, which on the left-hand side is this viewing tab here, and this one I've sent out for a review. And I can see the same things on my phone. So let me just increase this a little bit so you can see it. So as I scroll through here, you can see Here's that same PDF that's been sent out for review. So again, through Document Cloud, everything's being synchronized, but I can tell that that document is out waiting for somebody to um, join in. I can also see additional file types as well. So on my phone, I can see a PowerPoint file here that I could push up to Document Cloud and have that converted. We actually uh, did an episode on that just uh, a few months ago. So anyway, so let's take a look at um, sending something out for a review. So on the desktop, I'm gonna come in here and just open one of these files. So I'll start with this one. I'll move my phone out of the way for the moment. And so here, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go into the share option. So I have this PDF file open. I can scroll through and see all of the pages. So I'm gonna click on share. And now we're gonna get a brand new panel over here on the right. And the panel's broken into three categories. We have the main share option here. Then we have this option for get link. And then another option for send as attachment. So I have three ways I can take a PDF file now and share it out to people so that they can either look at it, 
they can review it and add comments to it, or they can sign it. So under the share main invite people group, actually that's the main uh, category here, invite people, um, I can come in here and add an email address. So I'll come in here and just um, type in, I'll just send one to myself. So once that's selected, I'll come down here and I'll check the option here that says review file, which means that the person who's receiving this can then add comments and be able to uh, join in a shared review with this file. Now that's under the invite people group. If I close this down and choose get link, I can do the same thing. However, what'll happen is I'll get a link to the document cloud destination of that PDF file. And then I can send that link out to any number of people using any other service I might have. I can use things like SharePoint, I can use email, any other way that I communicate with my team, maybe Slack, and send out that link and everybody who gets that link can then join in the review as well. And then finally, I can send it as an attachment. I can take the PDF file off of my computer or right off of Document Cloud, attach it into an email and send it out to everybody in the group. So that's three ways that we can send out that information. The great thing is, regardless of the way I send this out, I can always get back all those comments in one spot. So I'm going to just close this. I'm not actually gonna share that file. And instead, I'm gonna close this document. I'm gonna to go to my for review and let's come in here and open up the PDF that I've already sent to my colleague. So I'm gonna open this up and you'll notice on the right hand side, I've sent this to Kim and she has already added some comments. Now I didn't have to ask for the comments. She didn't have to submit them or do a form submission or send me an FDF file or any of the things we've done in the past. She simply opened the PDF file on her computer, put in some comments, hit save. Those comments got saved back to Document Cloud and then they get shared back to my desktop. And in addition to the desktop, let's bring my phone back and let's do the same thing. I'll move this over here so we can see the sidebar on the desktop. I'm gonna open this up on my phone. The phone also told me that this was in review and since I've been talking, she's added another comment. So you can see up here, I have an indication that there are uh, more items for me to, to look at or filter. It tells me that I'm currently looking at a document that is in review. And what I can do is come in here and, and tap on the different item and come in here and take a look at how I wanna filter all of these items, whether I've read them, whether I've resolved them and when they were added and by who. So I'm gonna hit uh, cancel up here. I can scroll through and take a look at the comments. So I can tap on one of these. So I'll tap on this first one here and she likes this cover. And notice I can click these arrows here on my phone and go back and forth and just cycle through all of the comments. As I hit a different comment, it'll automatically scroll to the page that contains that individual comment. And I get a very similar workflow on the desktop as well. So this is some of the interface things you may be accustomed to if you're using uh, commenting tools on PDF files on the desktop but now we have this working on a phone in addition to tablet devices so that I can join in that workflow regardless of the device or where I'm at. So I'm gonna tap on the upper left-hand corner on my phone. Let me scroll down here a little bit. Down in the uh, bottom tools across the bottom here, I'm gonna tap on files. Just like I had on the desktop, I can look at PDFs that are on my phone. I can go into document cloud. I can go into Dropbox or I can add more locations. If I tap on this, I can simply sign in to other services and access those on my phone as well. So let's click away. I'll cancel out of that. Down under shared, just like we had on the desktop, I can go in here and see um, for reviewing, or I'm sorry, for viewing and for review. Here's the review of the PDF that we already had open. And of course there's search, so I can go in here and search through all of my PDF files and I can just tap through and go through these individual pieces. So that is a ton of brand new stuff. Um, so I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time to show you the uh, unified interface and the new review process. There are lots more features that are in the new Acrobat DC. So I would encourage you to visit um, adobe.com, take a look at all of the new features inside of Acrobat. And I will be back uh, very shortly with more videos and uh, live streams to show you some of the new things you can start to do with the new version of Acrobat. So. <laughs> Thanks for joining me and I will uh, talk to you soon.